our first damage incident of the journey it's from a tree limb backing into a yard didn't know it was happening until it was too late we'll see what happens next Caught behind the Venetian blinds I had to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become So, I don't know if you can hear me But we're at this uh, campground in Ohio State Park uh, Lake Loramie State Park it's pretty awesome. It got really cold, really windy. But look at this. I mean, this is our site. How great is that? Fishing is encouraged. I don't know if you catch anything, but I'm going to try. Uh, yeah, the grass is so different than Florida. It doesn't look like it's good. It's made of razor blades. Uh, once again, it's sad we're only going to be here at night. But... On to Indiana. Time to let go, so come what may. Don't look before you leave. What you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye bye. Set the toast for those lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Is falling apart right now I'm bleeding I'm easy kid Gonna leave it all behind I think it's time RV. Absolute mess right now. We're at Kaylee's best friend Sarah's house in Indiana. And we went to Kaylee's and her family's favorite restaurant. And we got all kinds of stuff. We're going to send all of it back to her mother <laughs> and hope it works out. Ranch, salsa, pizza, de dissembled pizza. Beef jerky. Yeah, everything. It's going to be great. So things are a mess. We just went to Walmart because we're leaving tomorrow and we wanted to be prepared for some days of back to back. We, uh, we actually have taken the time to put a bunch of options for stops along the way. So hopefully we don't have to drive too much every day and get to see some stuff. I can't get over this. This is my first time in Indiana. It happens to be probably the best time of year to be here. See the degrees and beautiful. Look at this view of our of our RV backed into the yard. Someone who's lived here their whole life might not be so great, but it's unique to me. Beautiful weather. So I was thinking I'd show you how we're set up. Uh, show that you can camp pretty much without any issues in somebody's backyard. So as you can see, we're in the backyard. Okay, there's the RV. It helps that they have a lot of space. So <clears throat> we're on the, the Anderson blocks. 
We've ran into an issue with these probably because we are too heavy and we didn't properly put the legs out every time. They've, the legs have started to bend. So it's very difficult to try to extend them or shorten them. So we leave them right where they are and we put blocks underneath. Let's go around here. Water hookup right to the hose. I just put our water filter on. Pressure regulator, just like always. Our, uh, oh, don't mind the beer can. Our electric, we're plugged in just like normal to this shed. Runs all the way up here. We have our surge guard right into the outlet with the adapter here. It's really nice because this shed was wired I don't know, I mean, this is probably in the 60s or something, uh, but it looks like from what I'm seeing, the fuses are like 25 amp. So we almost have 30 amps of power. Um, we're not losing much because we got we don't have to use light extension cords or anything. So we've been running the heat, um, well, the heater and the furnace, but the furnace is propane. Uh, we haven't, the fridge has been fine. Everything's been great. It's just like camping normally, except we don't have sewer. So uh, we're gonna sh we shower in their house and everything, but uh, yeah, it's just like being in a campground, except much more private, and uh, you get some nicer views, I think. We've had some people asking to show more of the the RV life. Uh, we're working on that. We have so much cool stuff we want to show the world, like things that we do. Uh, we forget that a lot of people are here to see about RVs and how you live in them day to day. Um, so I think we're going to do some cooking stuff and things like that, but it's a process. We're learning too. <laughs> All right, see you later. How do you feel? I feel youthful, invigorated. You can already tell. I think that we could sell these. Putting these. You're gonna put these in there? All right. Yeah. Let's go. They said these might be poisonous. We'll have no. to look that up. I'm not gonna touch the actual flower, just the stem. Just the stem. Good idea. Banana flowers. Banana flowers. All right. Banana flowers. Hehehehe <laughs> Thank you.
packing up. We're about to leave my friend's house and we're nervous we're gonna hit this tree again. Well, I am, Doug's not. <laughs> so we gotta get the trailer. We're clear of those trees and we're gonna squeeze through here and hit the road. We made it! Right. <laughs> oh man. Only limited damages. Well, getting out, there was no extra damages, and that was all I was worried about. So, on our way to UPS, <laughs> yeah. and then Iowa. For a snowstorm. Yeah, just, just our luck. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See somewhere to look how many spots are open. Oh, yeah, and it stopped raining for us. Yay! Oh, God, stupid one should play first. It even says auto buses RV. Nice. We are on zero, so we made it just yeah, in time. Officially on zero. This is great. Air? What? what? Very cool. Yeah, stoked. There's the truck museum over there. <laughs> So the I-80 truck stop is going to wrap up this week's video, but don't think I forgot. I'm not going to leave you hanging about what happened with our damages at the beginning of the video. So we were trying to turn around in their backyard and get in position to back in. And with all the eyes going all these different places, you can't see 13 feet in the air. Uh, we missed that I was grinding up against a tree the whole time. Since then, uh, we have fixed the issue. Uh, it's livable. Luckily, the awning worked still, so that was a big relief for me. Uh, the awning works, it's just the cap at the end of it broke in a way that it can't be put back on. We just have to buy a new cap. The ladder 
it broke pretty significantly, but it seems like maybe those ladders are pieced together. Um, each individual rung and arm of the ladder seems to be like two feet at a time and screws and things like that. So it separated from the roof. It didn't rip the roof uh, open, which is what I was scared of. And then it also separated from the rung. So I was able to bend it back in place, put some sealant there to get us through. And we were thinking maybe we could get it addressed in Wyoming. We seem to be in a dead zone for RV maintenance. <laughs> and especially with our warranty being still intact, there's a lot of iffy things about who can do what, when, and how. So yeah, that's where we're at. It's working. Uh, it looked really bad and I was very emotional that day, but we're okay now. And uh, we'll let you know if anything changes in the future with it. Thanks for watching and come back next week where we start making some stops at some cool roadside attractions, including the world's largest time capsule. Be excited. See you then.